like it's the best time to pamper your skin apply some good like you know good things in your skin so that you it can like start healing from all that sunburn that you got during the summer you know so get a good moisturizer you can get th these targeted for your specific skin type so get them and start applying during the winter because this is the time this is the perfect time to start you know taking care of your skin your body especially because it won't be like all sticky and you'll feel like you know since winter time skin also gets dry introducing you to dr shade's body lotion They're tree body lotion with the power of active and natural ingredients. These are formulated for the problems of our skin, for dry skin or oily skin, or any type of skin. So this is the tea tree and lactic acid body lotion. The tea tree calms inflammation and the lactic acid and salicylic acid helps exfoliate the skin. So you apply it on areas where you want exfoliation, for example, our elbows, because oftentimes this part gets very dry, uh, dark, and there are a lot of dead cells build up here. So since this has lactic acid and salicylic acid, it will exfoliate your skin so that your new cells can come up and your skin will look bright and new and some people have strawberry or a uh, strawberry skin where there are bumps so this is great so this product is great for that if you have oily skin and if you have skin that has acne body acne and also if you want to exfoliate so around your elbows on your fingers and your knees it's pretty refreshing so this is the before and after So Dr. Shades has 90 years of dermat experience and they formulate products specially for Indian skin. If you're unsure of what to buy, know that this brand is actually formulated by dermatologists, doctors who know what they're doing. So their products are backed by science and also they have a little background of, you know, skincare. So it is assurance for you. Use my code to get 20% off only on drshades.com that is their website there these products are available on amazon nika and flipkart all the links are given in the description so be sure to check them out hi guys so it's already afternoon and i was supposed to talk to you guys about body right how i take care of my body i was thinking i'll just show videos clips but I think I have to talk a little bit more. I know I know I always talk so much. It gets boring, right? But what to do? I'm so good at talking. Anyway, I'm gonna have this. It's like a mukbang. Hmm. Okay, if you guys want to change your body, if you decided that you know what, like I wanna change. I want to get better i want to see what you're capable of because like our body right we're capable of so many things it's just that we don't challenge yourself so to unlock your capabilities just think of it like you're upgrading you know like our body we have so much potential so if you want to upgrade you have to make certain changes in your life right you have to be willing to leave bad old habits and start getting new ones and start improving it's not going to be easy but it's worth it so for um for me like if you want to lose weight i have some tips okay let's lose weight get fit not like becomes like uh, sick or anything but like physically healthy fit so for me like last year i was about like 50 something kg and i wanted to lose i want to like i had a goal i wanted to be 48 kg okay so that was my goal last year so this year i reached that goal and uh along the way i learned like certain like uh, certain things that actually helped me reach this goal like uh, lose the weight i wanted to lose and 
I just wanted to share with you guys if you guys uh, are looking to lose some weight. Number one weight loss tip I would say to lose weight, set a goal. Okay, any goal, but you need a goal. You can't just be like, I want to lose weight. You have to set a goal. I want to be this much kg. I want to, whatever. You need a goal, and keep that like, as a, as a how can I say a reminder, and so that you have a goal, like so you have an aim, so you know a direction where to go. You know. Number two. Get inspired. So what I mean by get inspired is that you have to motivate, not even motivate, motivate, it seems motivation is not a long term, it's just a short term thing, but you have to be inspired, right? You need to have the determination to lose weight, you want to like, feel like, yes, I will do this, and I'm so, you know, Josh, you need the Josh, and to get the Josh, sometimes you can't get the Josh from yourself, right? Because we make excuses like it's very hard to rely on ourselves and also sometimes it's hard to rely on your family and friends because they're like you know they might not be so motivating so i would suggest you get motivated and get inspired by people like you know they say a mentor or a coach get a mentor get a coach if you can't get it personally go online there's so many uh motivate uh, there's so many inspiring people online to be inspired to want to change you want to you have to look at someone who's you know up there who's like oh wow i want to be like that so for that i'm finding like for example for me like when it comes to fitness when it comes to uh getting out of your that comfort zone and just like going the extra mile i f for me i feel like i really 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 look up to this guy called david goggins i don't know if you guys know him or not but he's a he was a so it seems like he was so like he was obese he was really fat and then he what but he wanted to be a navy seal like you know he wanted to like his story is really inspiring like check him out like i read his book and i could like i was so inspired by it and i really look up to him even though he's so extreme okay like he's a very extreme guy like we i don't think anyone can be as extreme as him but i feel like it gives me encouragement to know that people can do that so that you know i also can do it because hmm. so find people that inspire you especially when i work like if i work out or if i wanna you know david goggins is a good mentor for me online mentor i won't say real mentor but online like you know so if you're looking to lose weight listen um watch his videos or find a mentor whoever you like online like you know motivation uh, uh all that and follow them third is clean food diet so clean you have to eat clean so if you want to lose weight what you have to do is eat clean of course you can eat i'm not saying like for me i didn't I never stop myself from eating. I love to eat and I eat, but I eat healthy. As in, I eat food that my mom cooks and I cook sometimes in my like, And under food, like clean food, I would give another tip, which is like dinner. Eat your dinners early. I'm sh like Naga people, we eat dinners very early, right? Like, I think it's a norm, but for me like for us before we see it's so late but i tried to eat dinner quite early like s recently around seven o'clock or six like i would eat my dinner early and after dinner don't eat anything like even if you're craving for it just don't eat anything after dinner because that's after dinner you eat and midnight snack and all that's the oh that's the worst because that's literally adding to your weight like i can and you just feel so bad but before you know i used to get craving and my stomach used to uh, rumble like you know i used to get so hungry after dinner so i used to eventually eat but if you keep training like you know if you stop eating for a week or something your stomach will adjust and it won't be you won't be hungry anymore so so important don't eat after dinner and eat your dinner early have early dinner don't have after 8 p.m okay like preferably before 8 before 8 p.m have your dinner before 8 p.m earlier the better and then no midnight snacks no food after dinner not at all 
and then so my friend also I was talking to about like weight loss with my friend okay so even she has been trying to you know manage her weight so she was telling me that for her what helps is you know before food she drinks a lot of water so that she feels fuller and she also like in, uh, before eating her meal she will eat all the like salad and the vegetables first like she'll eat a lot of it so that she feels she gets half full and then she eats the main dish so that she doesn't eat so much of it like these are for people who tend to hog you know like eat a lot tip number four is keep moving okay. keep moving keep whatever it is just keep moving like walk here and there just keep walking or you know if there's like chores at home chores just do like small things like just clean this clean that uh, move walk 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 just whatever it is try to keep your body moving because when you stay put in one place and don't do anything that's like you're not burning calories you're not uh, using your body and your body starts getting lethargic you start getting lazy and your body you feel more worse so if you move your body it is actually good for your mental health also because they say that you know exercise and all this releases uh, dopamine or what ex ex uh, there's a certain uh, hormone that it releases that you feel happy you know you feel like there's a trick i have a trick to work like you know to motivate you to work out or work out or do chores or whatever it is if i'm i'm supposed to do some work chores run around here and there i think of it as like yeah i'm doing an exercise it's good for my health it's good for my overall well-being so yeah i should do this so it helps me not being lazy like it stops me from being lazy you know so if you are someone who's prone to laziness think about it in that way you know yeah this is actually i'm building muscles i'm burning calories i'm becoming healthy and fit yeah and also there's a there are studies that show that the longest living people people who live about like 100 plus years they're the ones who keep moving you know they do work the garden they do this they don't just sit and they don't just like you know most of us think that sitting and relaxing and doing nothing is a, a luxury but actually it's the opposite if you just sit and retire and don't do anything just eat and sleep and all that's actually killing you and making you your body weaker so if you want to live a long healthy life if you want to grow old and be still physically fit you have to keep moving your body you know because our body is like a machine you know it has to keep running if it stop it'll get rusted so you have to from now on just keep moving get used to doing work get used to movement you know all these things like actually parents my mom used to keep telling us and i didn't before i didn't listen i used to be like ah i never saw the wisdom in these words but actually there's so much wisdom in what my mom says and most of the things she says is like right and when i grow old, the older i'm getting the more i'm re realizing that oh yeah my mom was right she's always right so yeah hell the fifth point is think long term think long term okay so oftentimes we want to lose weight or we work out just before you know a special event for example if there's a party or if your birthday or whatever is coming up and you're just like oh that's coming up i have to work out i have to lose weight like you want to just for that event and oftentimes it seems when you do such like things the result is short term it's only for that like you know that's your goal so after that you will just switch back to how you were so that's because like the goal is short term so you want to think long term so all these things what i'm saying taking care of your body i'm not saying this like taking care of your body losing the weight just so you can like lose it for some months or just for that one party or one uh one birthday or whatever it's not just for that you know i'm saying it in the sense that it's for the long term it's for your future for your for example 30s 40s 50s 60 years old 70 like the the things you do right now is going to affect your future it's like going to affect how you become in the future so if you take care of your body right now your future self is going to look better you're it's going to feel better it's going to be healthier and happier thanks to you working out right now but if you don't take care of yourself right now your future self is gonna look fat sad and obese and whatever it is it's not gonna be healthy so 
but and it all depends on how you take care of yourself now so the long term goal is not about this whole thing is not about just now and my gains for like uh, this week or next month it's thinking long term how my actions right now on my health is going to affect me in the future because if i take care of my body and my health i will live longer i will live healthier like i would be i would have no disease less disease and i would heal better and it's just you know like these are the lessons that we i feel like it's so important for us in our age in my age to learn so i just want to tell you guys also if you are someone who wants to get better and wants to have a future have a future where you're not sick where you're healthy where you're like physically fit even if you're 30 or 40 or 50 like it's possible to be healthy and fit even when you're in that age if you take care of yourself so for me i think about it in that way like i want to grow old and i want to be so physically fit and i want to be so you know like that old people who go to the like you know like who are who have uh, who are so healthy and they look so good i want to be like that that's why i i want to take care of myself so that i have a brighter better future you know without any disease if you have any tips or if you certain things you do that helps you in your progress of weight loss or if if there are things that you know help you reach your body goals or be healthy let us know in the comments okay so that we can get better together bye guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't and comment if you want to take care of physical health take care of mental health and take care of spiritual health okay bye bye